Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we have to make a correction. Earlier today, we did a video about a suspected Ebola patient in Europe. Uh, the reports we'd received was that there was a patient in a Swedish hospital with Ebola, that they were vomiting blood. Now, it's true they were vomiting blood, and they are very, very ill. And it is true the individual came from Central Africa into Sweden. But it is still a suspected Ebola patient. And that patient is very sick and needs our prayers and is in isolation in a hospital in Sweden. But it's not confirmed, I repeat, not confirmed uh, whether this patient truly has Ebola or not. Now, according to CNN and according to Fox News, they're both reporting that it is a possible Ebola case that a male patient is being treated in isolation at a hospital in Sweden as medical personnel wait for test results for possible Ebola. The man had visited Central Africa. He was currently not experiencing an Ebola outbreak where he was at, but it borders, where he was at, it borders the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo where 368 people have died out of a total of 512 cases. From what we understand, the virus has done this damage in the last six months. And according to uh, the university hospital chief medical officer there in Sweden, the man has been exhibiting classic symptoms of the virus. That's according, that's according to the medical, the chief medical officer. He is demonstrating, exhibiting classic symptoms of the virus, such as hemorrhage, hemorrhagic fever and vomiting of blood. And even before arriving at the hospital, the patient sought treatment at an emergency clinic in, uh, there in Sweden, which has since closed with medical staff who came in contact with him already being cared for. And they, you know, so apparently uh, th there was a misdiagnosis or they're concerned that if this is Ebola and he has a classic symptoms of it, that then the other clinic has been contaminated and they've got to get that under control. Again, we're waiting for the test results. Now, symptoms of Ebola can take up to three weeks to appear, and it spreads through contact with body fluids and infected patients. So far, officials have confirmed um, that uh, of the 585 cases of Ebola in the Congo, uh, 368 of them have died with an American health worker evacuated last week. And I think that that doctor, I think, was sent, yes, to the University of Nebraska Medical Center, but he's not experiencing symptoms of hemorrhagic fever, nor is he vomiting blood. But the patient in Sweden is, and this is why we have a major concern there. Now, uh, but I want to be sure that I came back on here I, and uh, corrected that information. I'm sorry, I made a video with uh, the information I was giving, I read it right out of the article, the information I had received was that this was a confirmed case. But according to CNN and according to Fox News, it's not officially confirmed, although um, highly likely. So let's pray it's not. Let's pray it's not. And, um, and that this patient can get well quickly and uh, we can keep Ebola out of Europe. So let's all pray, all right? God bless all of you. Thank you for uh, uh, your patience and understanding. And we do our very best to bring you the breaking information uh, that goes on around the world. I'll be back with more in just a moment.